Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana. Today we are making pollo asado. I have the perfect marinade for grilled chicken. But before we get started, I do want to invite you to subscribe, like this video, and click the notification bell. All right, first things first, we're gonna make the marinade. Start by deveining and removing the stem from two guajillo peppers and one pasilla. This is a very simple process and as always feel free to wear kitchen gloves when handling peppers. All right, let's toast them, come on. Toasting the peppers helps deepen the flavors, it's amazing. We're gonna do this over low heat because we don't want them to burn and just turn continuously. This shouldn't take long. Remove them as soon as they become fragrant. I'm starting to smell them. I'll wait a little bit longer. And they feel hot to the touch already. All right, let's remove them. Rinse and drain the peppers. Next, I'm gonna cut them. That way they can fit into my container. and then pour hot water over them. So they can rehydrate, it'll take about five minutes. While this is happening, I'm gonna squeeze two tablespoons of lime juice for the marinade. I'm probably gonna need two for this. That's fine, we have plenty. Gonna cut it. Add the juice to a blender and I'll make sure I measure it before I do so. Perfect. I love this marinade because of how fresh, colorful, and full of flavor it is. Talking about flavor, add two whole peeled garlic cloves right in there, half a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds. half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Come on. <laughs> one teaspoon of ground onion, one teaspoon of dry Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of annatto powder, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt or to taste. If you don't know annatto powder or you can't find it where you live, I'm gonna leave you the link down in the description area. That way you can take a look at it. By the way, it is called achiote in Spanish. All right, moving right along. Remove the hydrated chilies and place them right into the blender. Just the chilies. I also removed three quarters of a cup from the liquid the chilies were hydrated in and pour it into the blender as well. Let's blend. It smells amazing. You want everything to be completely broken down except for the chilies. If you have some chili skin left over, that's fine. We don't mind that. <laughs> We're gonna combine the chicken and the marinade in this Ziploc bag, super easy. Okay, pour in all of the blended mix. And scrape as much as you can out, this is flavor. I didn't add the oil into the blender because I didn't want it to emulsify. Instead, I'm gonna add it straight into the bag. And you're gonna need a quarter of a cup of a smooth olive oil. Now cut half of a medium white onion into thick slices. It doesn't have to be perfect. And into the bag it goes. Also chop a quarter of a bunch of cilantro. Same thing, doesn't have to be perfect. And add it into the bag. Now 
Now the chicken. You can use whichever cut you prefer. I'm gonna be doing the thigh. And we need two pounds of it. Add them right in there. This is super easy. I love marinating meat this way. So convenient. You're gonna love it if you don't do this already. Close it and mix everything to combine. Make sure that chicken is well coated. This is ready. Allow it to marinate for at least six to eight hours in the fridge before grilling. All right, I made a batch last night so it could be ready for today. Now I'm gonna let this sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes. That way it's not so cold when we grill it and it cooks evenly. While this is happening, I'm gonna let Nelson go ahead and get started on the grill. Yes! What a beautiful day. All right, what we have here is a two zone temperature setup where only half of the grill has charcoal. Remember the stick, the legendary stick? I love using this, it's so practical. You can use tongues, but what we're gonna do here is actually clean the grates. As you clean them, you're also gonna be seasoning them and getting that beautiful onion aroma. Just try, you're gonna love it. We're looking for a temperature to be around 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we're ready to grill. Place the chicken directly onto the hot zone. Allow them to get a nice color and look at those grill marks, I'm loving it. Flip it and let the other side do the same. Once they have a beautiful color, grill marks on both sides, I'm gonna take them over to the no charcoal zone. That way they finish cooking, but they don't burn. We need them to finish cooking because they have to reach a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. We're down to the last pieces. I think this one's done already. This looks amazing. It is super flavorful out of this world. Now I'm gonna cover it, not completely, just lay some foil paper right on top of it because we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. That way the juices don't run out whenever we cut into it and we end up with a beautiful juicy piece of chicken. We're gonna take advantage of the charcoal because I need to make a salsa for these tacos. And I also want to do some pearl green onions. We're back inside. Let's cut into this chicken. I'm loving this, so excited. Let me put it back into my container. That way I can wash my hands and make some tacos. Heat your corn tortillas. Add the chicken to the center. Add chopped cilantro and onion. Salsa. A little bit of lime juice to open up all those flavors. Pickled jalapenos. 
add some of those grilled onions. And I'm gonna be serving a beautiful agua de Jamaica. These are amazing. By the way, I'm gonna leave the link to the salsa, the agua de Jamaica, and also the pickled jalapeños down in the description area so you guys can enjoy them with this delicious recipe. <laughs> All right, let's do the. I'm sorry. I mean, this chicken looks amazing. Man. What do you think? Ooh, it I don't know insight. what I did. I mean, it smells so good. Smoky. Oh, God. All right, let's go for it. All right, let's do this. Mmm. I can't, I mean, this is just unbelievable. This is, you have to try them. I mean, this is unbelievable, so good. Wow. This chicken is incredible. Hmm. And those pickled jalapenos are the perfect addition. You want an onion? Oh yeah. I love grilled onions. Mm. <laughs> Tacos are life. There's so much to look forward to these. You get that dry pepper flavor together with a little bit of that lime juice. It just balances out beautifully. refreshing as I can get. Thank you all. He deserves <clears throat> to be on the taste test. Yes. Once in a while because he does a lot of work around here. <laughs> well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. You try it at home, come back and let me know how it went down in the comments area. Don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. And as always, until the next one.